Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a plan with me for October the 26th through November 1st and I'm going to be using this SPC kit called Dead Inside, which I'm super excited about using. I'm going to go ahead and do a flip through of these pages. And these are the fashion girls I'm going to be using. I think I'm going to be using her or one of these other fashion girls in my spread so I'm super excited about this. I'm going to go ahead and set down the base and I'll be right back. I finished setting down the base and I'm going to go ahead and get started on Monday. Alright so the first thing that I do want to mark is um reading and I'm going to mark my zoom meeting as well. So hopefully you don't hear um background noise I feel there's like um, this company that's our neighbor and they make like really loud sounds so hopefully it's not too disruptive but yeah I'm gonna start with this sticker here I think I'll have enough for this spread yeah and then I'm gonna use the bigger ones so hopefully that noise is not too loud. Um, I'm going to go for this purple one. I love all these boxes. They're like spooky. Oh, but it's the same color. Let me change that. I think I'm going to go for the pink one. we go. So that's going to be for my Zoom meeting. I got the sticker. There we go. So on this day my sister did arrive early so I actually ended up editing for some time instead of filming. So I think I'm going to use this black sticker here. Mm, there we go. And I'm going to use a penny. So these are from the penny pages. I'm going to use this girl here. I think she looks okay there. Yeah. Okay, so let me move this. I did post my plan with me on this day. So to mark that, I want to use a flag. I really enjoy using flags. So I think I'm going to use this one here, this lighter purple one. Which is super cute. There we go. And I think I'm going to use... Um, another penny, but I'm going to use this smaller one here. Put it right there. Alright, so the next thing that I'm going to mark is that we did do some prayer. So for that, I think I'm going to use this box. Oh, no, not that. Hmm. This purple one here. Put it right here. There we go. And I'm going to use this little heart right here. This icon. There we go. And then I did start reading um, Tu Momento Estelar by Luzma Doria, I believe. That's how, that's her name. And it's been really good. I highly recommend that book. I'm going to put it in the description down below if you're interested in reading it. It's really, really good. So Luzma Doria is a producer of a television show um, that 
I think it's three hours. It comes out in the morning. I believe it's from 8 to 11, if I'm not mistaken. But she talks about um, what it takes to be successful and for you to have like your stellar moment. And what, and so she basically discusses like um, specific people, like, you know, the creators of Uber um, Airbnb, so she talks about, like, stories about these people who basically were able to find success, and basically how they got there, it's not so much an emphasis, um, it doesn't do, like, a in-depth analysis of those specific stories, but she talks about, like, a lot of different things related to having your stellar moment. So this is gonna be that you know what I think I'm gonna use this book here to mark that <laughs> this is awesome I love this echo here yeah that's so much fun I love that then I need another little thing I think I'm gonna use black this time all right here here right so in the, on this day I did take out my mail because um the mail arrived pretty late and then I didn't go take it out because I felt like it was too cold so then um I waited until the next day which was today Tuesday to take out the mail so I want to use a fancy label for that I think I'm going to use this one I got my two Christmas kits from Glam Planner and I got my winter kits from Jessica Hearts, which was really cool. Um, and then I do want to mark my Zoom meeting like always. So for that, I think I'm going to use this purple one here. Hopefully I don't run out of boxes. Put it here. For my Zoom meeting. There we go. Okay. And then I did film this day. Should I use a fancy label for that? I think I'm going to use this, this box here. I'm going to use this icon here. There we go. Oh yeah, and I wanted to mark that I had Hershey Kisses just because I don't typically eat candy. But this day, my mom gave me some and it was really good. So, I think I'm going to use a little thing for that though. I'm going to use this one here to mark having some chocolate, which is delicious. Um, so I also wanted to mark that I did do some progress on my job search. So... For that, I'm going to use one of these flags here. There we go. Yeah, nice. That's going to be to mark that. Um, should I use the O? Yeah, let me use one of these. These are from SPC, by the way, as well. It's going to be to mark that. And then I did sign up for LinkedIn Premium just because, like, they have some additional resources if you're looking for a job and you want to connect with other companies. Um, I forgot what the perks are, but for sure I know that there are videos and um, other resources that you can have access to. I think I'm going to use a little thing for that as well. Okay. 
There we go. Another little thing. Balanced in premium. Uh, so, I, yeah, I signed up for the free trial. Uh, and I think that's it. So let's move on to Wednesday. I'm going to use pink this time. There we go. So on Wednesday, I did watch Lauren's haul, which I love watching her hauls. Um, so for that, I think I'm going to use... I think I want to use like a fancy label, or should I use a little... No, I think I want to use a fancy label. I'm going to use this one. Watching hauls are so much fun. And then on this day, I did go to work. I basically prepared folders. Um, so, let's see. I think I'm going to use one of these bigger boxes. Which one should I use? I'm going to go for the black one. Why not? Why not? There we go. So, I'm going to use one of my mini icons from Jessica Hearts. And then, what else did I want to mark? Um, I did do the grocery list. So let me mark that. I've been noticing that, because um, I've watched other videos and I've learned that there is a significant number of people that are looking for jobs at this time. So it makes it seem kind of like a little less um, lonely in a way. You know? Because you know that other people are also kind of well, pursuing new jobs and new beginnings, essentially. Because I think it's always kind of like scary when you're um, searching for a new job. Because you know it's going to be different. It's going to be new. I don't know. At least for me, it makes me kind of a little bit nervous. But at the same time, I feel like it's something that I would really love to have. So, yeah. Um, planning together. You know what? I'm going to mark planning together. And I'm going to use one of these boxes. I think I'm going to use this pink one here. This is going to be to mark planning together. With a Darien. Um, what should I use? I believe the guest and her name was Hannah and she basically talked about prioritizing to do the things that you really want because she has like five children I believe and she is um, in nursing school which I think is absolutely incredible like that's amazing you know I love the fact that she is brave enough to pursue her you know that goal that she always had so, like because I think it's important to not forget those goals that you have wanted to do, you know? It's important to go for them. So yeah, that's going to be for planning together. And then we also did some prayers. So I do want to mark that. Um, I think I'm going to use a little thing. Here we go. This is going to be for prayer. And then I did read from my book again from Tu Momento Estelar, Your Stellar Moment. Uh, so I'm going to use this little thing here. I'm really enjoying these little things. There we go. Alright, so let's move on to Thursday.
Wait, I got the wrong sticker. Oops. Is this one? So on Thursday, I did have the Zoom meeting. So, to mark the Zoom meeting, should I use a black box? Mm, yeah, let's go for it. I'm going to use the black one. Oops. There we go. So I did learn, I believe it was um, on this day, that we're going back in person. So we're going to have six students, I believe. And yeah, I'm going back to work in person, which is a little bit... I think it's an adjustment, but it's okay. I'm also a little bit excited because I think it'll be good, you know, to kind of see more people again. So I'm trying to be positive about it. Uh, let's see. I also did my job search this day. So I think I'm going to use this one. Here. We go and then I'm gonna use this bow here. There we go. Um, and then on this day, I did finish reading the book Metamorphosis, which is extremely good. I absolutely love that book. I feel like I need to reread it, reread portions of it because it is just. It's just that type of book that you can take away so much from it by rereading it. I also did clean the bathroom on this day, so I think I'm going to use a little thing for that, though. Yeah, I'm going to use this little thing. Yeah, there we go. And I need my cleaning penny. I'm going to use this cleaning penny doesn't look too happy. And then I also did some creative journaling, which was fun. Let's see, I'm going to use this one. I have to start the new, because um, now it's, when I'm filming this, it's already November 3rd. It's actually election day. Um, I already voted. I voted yesterday. I dropped off my ballot, which was really exciting. And so today I'm going to be watching the results of the election and I'm kind of nervous but also excited about it as well because four years four years ago um, I believe in 2016 I basically found out about the results when I was in my teacher credentialing class and yeah that was a little that was interesting but now I'm gonna be at home so yes yes it's gonna be different definitely different So, what was I? Oh, yeah, so like, this is going to be for creative journaling. Oh, you know what? What, what I wanted to mark as well was that I watched the two episodes from The Queen's Gambit. I'm really loving that TV show. It is, like, really, really good. And for that, I think I'm going to use this box here. It is so good. I'm loving it, at least. So I do want to mark it right there. I highly recommend it. It's on Netflix. Super good. Super, super good. There we go. And then again, my Zoom meeting. But yeah, I'm excited. I think I need to I need to finish watching it. I still have some more episodes, but I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so good. It's about this girl who is a chess prodigy. Um, 
she's an orphan, but then she got adopted. I don't want to spoil it. I mean, I haven't even finished it yet, but all I can say is that it's really good. So then, what else did I do? Oh yeah, so today was Halloween, the 31st. So what should I use to mark that? I think I should use... Hmm. Yeah, because this is for my soon reading. Let me finish marking that first. Alright, you're going to be for Zoom. After I mark Zoom, we do want to mark Halloween. I think I'm going to use this box here for Halloween. Well, you know what? It, Halloween is on Saturday, my bad. So this is the day before. But I want to mark that the kids were in their little costumes and it was just adorable it was so funny we had a robot we had a witch um what else did we have a werewolf a bear um elsa what else and then a princess not sure but it was so cool so i don't know what should i use to mark that i think i'm gonna use this cat here why not to work that they had like their costumes on there you go yeah all right so then i also wanted to mark all oh, that i made progress on my job search so i was watching this resource that um linkedin had available and they were basically talking about that nowadays you're a business of one because, like, you know, the days where you, like, worked at a company for, like, 20 plus years are kind of, like, essentially gone. Now, when you get hired by a company, you know that it's more or less temporary. Because you're not going to stay there for 20 years. And then she was basically giving you um, suggestions for how you... You can apply for the job that you want. Keep in mind that you are a business of one and that's how, you know, you should remember to market yourself as. That's very interesting. Um, so I have to basically apply what she said because I think it's so easy to watch these informative videos and like to take notes. But then executing it is kind of challenging because you're putting yourself out there. But I think it's a necessary thing, you know, necessary to ask for what you want because ultimately nothing really comes to you. You have to ask for it. I mean, of course, there are some instances where, you know, like I think opportunities can come to you, but at least what I've read from a lot of successful people is that they go for what they want. They don't wait they take the initiative to ask for what they want or they just do it, you know. Which I think is something that I would like to work on. So that's going to be for job search. And then I do want to mark my weekly review. Um, what should I use to mark that? Let me use the thing. This little thing here for my weekly review. Um, and then I did do some creative journaling. And then I did watch a movie. So let me mark creative journaling with a flag. You know what? I'm just going to mark the movie. I'm going to use this movie marquee. I watched this new movie that came out called His House. It is a spooky-ish movie, and it was really good. I really enjoyed the performance of the actress. I don't know what her name is, but I think I'm going to look up her name. I just felt like she was extremely expressive, like despite the fact that she didn't say a lot during the film because I think the character was meant to be more reserved. Her facial expressions spoke volumes to me, and I just thought it was so cool. She's a great actress. 
But anyways, it's on Netflix, and it's called His House. Moving on to Saturday. So I do want to mark that I had my oatmeal. Another little thing. This oatmeal, and on this day, it was Halloween. <laughs> um... I did finish my Walter University course, which is what's a goal that I had for this day. Because I wanted to finish the course with Keisha Glam on self-care. She did like an awesome visualization, which was really amazing. Just kind of like, you know, for you to imagine yourself as your happiest, more, most joyful self. It was super good. So that's going to be to mark that, and then I also want to mark my budget check -in. and I'm going to use a flag for that let's see there we go alright I did browse for sweaters because you think that I need to purchase some I need some sweaters some mini sweaters I was looking at Target, but I didn't really find anything that I wanted, so we'll see. Um, so on this day, we did have tacos. I do want to mark them because those were really good. Um, maybe I can use just... This little bolster here. There we go. Uh, let's see what else. So on this day, I did watch two movies. I watched Paranorman, and I also watched um, The Black Coat's Daughter. So, well, let's see, how am I going to mark those two movies? Well, I'm going to use this. I'm going to use this one here. I really enjoy stop motion um, films, so if you like stop motion, definitely check out Paranorman. And The Black Coat Star was okay. It was a little weird, but I mean, it was alright. But yeah, that's going to be for that movie. Paranorman. And then... On Sunday, I had this egg dish that, that my brother made, and it was super delicious. I'm going to mark that. And then I did spend a significant amount of time cleaning. So I'm going to use this box here. We're cleaning the kitchen. There we go. And then I did complete my budget check-in, so I think I'm going to use Black Flag for There we go. Where is my penny? Yeah, there we go. And then I did journal in my notebook. So for journaling, um, what can I use for that? I think I'm just going to use the little thing. Journaling and my notebook. And then I did finish planning a spread and we did do some prayer. Um, okay, I'm going to use this box for prayer. There we go. This to mark that I finished spread. And I think that is it. So this is how my spread turned out. Um, I really like how the foil pieces look. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I see you next time. Bye!